The world tourism industry is a significant element of the globalization aspect of the planet. In the last few decades, tourism has become one of the most significant contributors to many economies in the world. Some countries fully depend on their tourism sector to survive. This sector plays such a crucial role in the economy of many countries that the majority of their population largely depends on it. Some countries like the Maldives faced huge challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic due to the restrictions on tourism around the world. One of the major countries in the Southeast Asian region is Thailand. In today's case study, we will explore how important the tourism industry is for the economy of Thailand. More than 10% of the Thai GDP comes from the revenue generated by the tourism industry. In the year 2016, around 17% of the Thai GDP came only from the tourism sector itself. The diversified and open culture of the country attracts more people to come to Thailand and makes their tourism sector more opportunistic. If you add indirect travel to the tourism industry revenue of Thailand, it nearly brings 20% of the GDP of the country. During the last decade, the Thai tourism sector saw immense growth and tourism became one of the most fascinating parts of the economy. But the country faced a large backdrop during COVID-19. With a large decline in world tourism during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Kingdom of Thailand lost almost 95% of its tourism revenue in one year. While in 2019, the country made $64.37 billion from tourism revenues, 2020 the country only made $15.36 billion in the year 2020. This was a straight 76% decline in tourism revenue in one year. Also, this was the highest level of revenue dropped by the tourism industry of the country in the last 25 years. Though the number of tourists dropped largely in the year of the pandemic, the Thai economy is bouncing back with the COVID-19 being slowly demolished from the planet. Before the COVID-19, the tourism industry of the country already was in a sustainable growth position. While in 1995, only 6.95 million people visited Thailand in one year, by the year 2019 the number of people visiting Thailand was 39.92 million. During the COVID-19 phase, the number of tourists visiting Thailand dropped to less than 1 million in the 2020-21 financial year. But there is good news for the Thai economy. The numbers bounced back again in 2022. In the year 2022, the number of people coming to Thailand again exceeded the mark of 10 million people in a year. Though these numbers are only 25% of the level of tourists visiting Thailand in one year compared to the year 2019, it can be surely predicted that the number of tourists visiting Thailand and will soon largely increase. The Thai government has set a greater goal for the year 2030. By the end of this decade, the national GDP of Thailand will depend on the Thai tourism industry for 30% of its income. This is a large challenge taken by the government. But with time, the world tourism industry is transforming itself into a huge money-making machine. For many countries, tourism is becoming the main source of revenue. So, if things and plans remain in control, the Thai government will be able to get to its objective. Overview of the Thai tourism industry Before discussing how the Thai tourism industry generates so much revenue for the country, we will provide a brief overview of the tourism industry of Thailand. One of the main reasons why Thailand got a good grip on the tourism industry was its stable political condition in the 1960s. After World War II, countries around the world had to suffer largely to have a better and more stable political condition. While most of the countries were struggling to get the desired and stable political conditions, Thailand became a neutral power on the global stage. By the end of the 1960s, Bangkok became became one of the most important crossroads for international air transport. The Thai government saw these rising opportunities and largely invested in the tourism and hospitality industry. Another thing that boosted the Thai economy in the 1960s was the US-Vietnam War. During and after the war, Thailand became a place for resting and amusement for the US soldiers fighting in Vietnam. World War II had great impacts on the living standard and economic conditions of people around the world. The war lasted from around 1939 to 1945. 
but the devastating effects of these six years lasted for a long time. In the late 1960s, two things happened. Tourism became a trend around the planet and the economic condition of people was also recovering. The Thai government utilized this opportunity well and invested in better technologies for tourism, airport improvement, and the hospitality sector. The number of tourists coming to Thailand increased by more than 100 times in the last 50 years. A report suggests that only 300,000 people visited Thailand in the year 1967 and by the end of the next 50 years, 20 in 2016, the country gave visas to more than 3.2 million people for visiting Thailand. The tourism industry of Thailand has improved so vastly that Bangkok became the top tourist attraction of people around the world in 2016 while surpassing London at the top. Again, a year before COVID-19 started, in 2019, the city became the top tourist attraction in the world surpassing Paris. In this segment of the case study, we will discuss the factors that have changed and are changing changing the scenario of tourism in Thailand. We will explore the areas where the economic decisions made by the lawmakers have changed the game for the Thai tourism industry and made it one of the largest tourist fascinations in the world. Sex Tourism one of the biggest contributors to the Thai economy in the last 60 years is the sex industry of Thailand. You might have heard many stories about how famous or infamous the Thai sex industry is around the world, but you will be shocked to know that prostitution is still an illegal profession in Thailand. Some very critical factors are impacting the ever-growing growth of the Thai sex industry. Though it's illegal, it is one of the biggest contributors not only to the Thai economy but also to the Thai tourism industry. I question might come to your mind in this case. If it is illegal, why isn't prostitution illegal in Thailand? If we give a brief history of the issue, we have to go back to the Vietnam War between the years 1954 to 1975. In these two decades, the overall Southeast Asian region was affected by the war, and Thailand was one of the major economies that were affected by the war. In this critical situation, the sex industry of Thailand and was a big help to the Thai economy in the late 50s. 60s and early 70s. When the economy was suffering from the impacts of the war, the Thai sex industry was one of the biggest contributors to keeping the economy running. The current date, any other industries are contributing to the economy, but police corruption, poverty among the population, increased unemployment, and corrupted government officials still allow the sex industry to grow illegally. Many Thai officials have suggested the eradication of the Thai sex industry, while we all know it won't be an easy one, this sector consists of different ethnic groups from the northeast region of Thailand, Myanmar, and Laos. Reports estimate that there are more than 42,000 sex workers currently working in Thailand. Medical Tourism If you think people only give visit Thailand for natural beauty or to meet their sensual desires, you are wrong. One of the biggest parts of the Thai economy is medical tourism. Based on the reports from 2019, Thailand is currently one of the top 10 tourist destinations for medical tourism all around the world. The country has more than 60 associated hospitals that give high-quality health care to its people and also people from all over the world. In the year 2017, the country had to register more than 3 million people who came for medical treatment in the country. By the year 2018, the country had to provide visas to more than 3.5 million people who came to Thailand for medical visits. Though the number of medical visits dropped immensely during COVID-19, the country is again reshaping its medical tourism with the reduction of COVID-19 around the world. Gastronomical Tourism Another money-making factor of the Thai economy is its gastronomical tourism. If you don't know about gastronomy, let us give you a simple idea of the concept. Gastronomy is simply the concept of good eating. It is the relationship between food and culture, the art and science of preparing rich food, which is delicious and also appetizing. Gastronomy is solely focused on the traditional cooking styles of a particular region, and that's why it is called the science of good eating. Gastronomy plays such a vital part in the Thai economy that income from this sector equals 20% of overall tourism income in Thailand. The government of the country is trying to achieve the mark of 25% of tourism income from gastronomical tourism. In the year 2018, the Thai economy made 3 trillion Thai baht from its tourism revenues. 
and out of these 3 trillion Thai baht, 750 billion was made by the gastronomy industry alone. There are more than 100,000 street vendors in the street of Thailand who made 270 billion Thai baht in the year 2018. The government of Thailand has also recognized people's love for Thai food and they have invested more than 100 million baht only in street vendors from the years of 2017 to 2021. Also, the gastronomy sector of Thailand has been constantly growing by a margin of 6% every year until the COVID-19 interruption. But after COVID-19, the sector is growing slowly again. The gastronomy sector is increasing so vastly that it is the fourth largest tire of the Thai tourism sector. The accommodation sector accounted for 29% of the Thai tourism income and the transportation sector accounted for 27% of it. While the shopping sector brought in 24% of the Thai tourism income, gastronomy made up 20% of it. Only the Chinese tourists coming to Thailand spend around 100 billion Thai baht every year in the streets of Thailand. Also, a large number of Russians, Malaysians, Britons, and Americans come to Thailand for street foods and other foods in Thai culture. Chinese tourists. The Thai tourism industry gets one of the biggest margins of its income from a single economy. That is the Chinese economy. Because of the shared culture between the two countries, Thailand's tourism is a highly rated tourist attraction for the Chinese people. Every year, a large number of tourists from China visit Thailand which is increasing day by day. In the last decade, with mass globalization and an increase in social media use, Thailand has become more attractive to tourists in China. In the year 2014, 4.6 million Chinese people visited Thailand whereas only in one year in 2015, the number of tourists increased to 7.9 million. Around 25% of the tourists coming to Thailand are from China. Though Chinese rated Thailand as their most prioritized tourist destination in the last decade, after the start of the pandemic COVID-19, Chinese people didn't treat Thailand as their top priority. In a report published in 2020, Thailand became the third possible tourist destination for the Chinese people in 2020. Though the rates are declining, the Thai economy still makes 25% of its tourism income only from the Chinese people. Of the closeness of the two countries, the average Chinese tourists spend at least three to four days more than an American tourist in Thailand. This also allows the Chinese people to spend more in Thailand. A report suggests that an average Chinese visitor spends around $1,000 to $1,500 in Thailand in one week, which is a large addition to the Thai economy. One interesting fact about Chinese tourism in Thailand was the first influential factor. A movie. Just one single movie was enough to raise the level of Chinese visitors coming to Thailand by 93%, which remained almost for a decade. A Chinese movie named Lost in Thailand was filmed in Thailand and was released in 2012. The movie attracted the Chinese people so much that the number of Chinese tourists coming to Thailand rose by 93% in the year 2013. The movie made 208 million US dollars in cinemas. But the level of income it influenced for the Thai economy was immense and beyond limits. Thai tourism has seen its biggest setback in the last 50 years during the global pandemic in 2020. But the economy is reviving itself and also, and the tourism industry is getting into its shape again. The Thai tourism ministry has aimed at making 80% of the revenue of the pre-pandemic period in the year 2023. In today's case study, we discovered the different areas of the Thai tourism industry that is making its economy bigger.